so I'm going to go over the new update of Rewrite Studio. This is the stable version. And um, I did do a video of it way back when it first released as beta and it was like very limited. But I wanted to make an update for the, the stable version because, I mean, like, it's a big update. So I think it deserves, uh, you know, a new video for it. I know some other people covered it, but there were some things that I want to go over as well. So I'm going to do that. Just so some people can understand what's new and what's not. So I'm going to start with creating a new model. The ones on the bottom, don't worry about those. These are from the old beta version. So we're going to go select whatever. And as you can see, there are new face uh, presets. You can click whatever if you feel like you don't want to use the sliders. It makes it easier for some people if they already have an idea of mine um, that matches their character or whatever. Right here. And right here is the face sets. And you get a ton of face sets. This one right here shows all of what is up here. So you just go here. Or, um, no, I think this was just the face area. I don't know. But it has a lot of sliders. And as you can see, some of the ones from the beta are still here. However, they did remove some stuff from the beta, which I didn't like. So hopefully they'll add it back again. So, Like, for example, the nose position where it goes up and down. Or longer or shorter. This. this is more customizable, especially since if you have a character that has a certain face shape, you can use these. See, there's a lot of them. Just use whatever you think will work for your character. And also they have teeth now. I have not tested this yet. But I heard it clips through the model. Still a lot of presets here. And it goes all the way to masculine head. Okay, and let's see. Mm, I see. Okay, so I did toy with this a few hours last night. But I wasn't really paying attention to this, but they do also have presets for just one area too. This one has the whole face preset, and then these have presets for the specific area. Like this is irises, this is eye highlights, scleras, and etc. So also they have positions here. Okay, so I want to see this here. Okay, so you can now go back to model selection. Instead of closing the right, like in the beta version, you can just go back to model selection and select your other model that you want to update or delete or whatever. And then they have undo, redo, save as, and save. So save as, of course, if you want to save as a new file. Okay, so we got that out of the way. We go to hairstyle. Hairstyle is good if you don't know how to use the hairs, the hair strands for them. So we go here. I don't know if you can also edit them. Let me see if you can edit them. No, there's no edit button on this one. Let me see if you can edit. Yes, here. So instead of the hairstyle sets, the full set, you can go to up here and then change whatever. So let's go to back. I need to see something here. Select this one. And then uh, here. You can edit the hair bounce and edit hairstyle. This is the main color. You can change the main color like here. And then the highlight color, of course, is which is right here. You see? And 
want to see if we can edit the hairstyle of preset to make it easier to model. So here's freehand group one. Let's see which one that one is. Okay, this is the back area. Let's see if we can make it longer. Yes, we can make it longer. So if you want to stretch it out or whatever to adjust the hairs, you just go to edit um, where I showed you and go to freehand group and select whatever hair strand or all hair strands you want and then edit it. Okay, so I also want to cover this one. So this is the brush. This is where you draw the hairs, but you can't do it on this one because I think this is already preset made, pre-made, or hold on, let me see. Let's add freehand hairstyle guides. Ah, uh, here. Okay, so once you go to that, yes, you can also draw a front bang on the back hair area. Okay, good. And then this is the retouch brush. And I can't select that one until I select the hair strand. Yes, okay. And what this is do? Ah, so it redoes the, the strand if you want to fix it. And then the control points, of course, is to adjust the hair strand, like so. If you don't want to use this one, you can just enjoy, adjust every little part. And there you go. And then CTRL-Z to undo. Okay, all that's good. And a procedural, I think, was just meaning um, that you add hair base and that's adjustable so you see yeah it is and then let me see where this goes okay here so you can adjust the width of the texture if you saw that highlights position you can change the highlights position if you want to be the highlights to be down or up Offset would be the direction from left to right, it seems, for the highlights and or the texture. Hair parameters, uh, I think just move the hair, right? Yes. So if you want to move a hair strand in, out of a different direction, you can do that. And this one's up and down too, right? Yes. This is up and down. This is width, which you can, the thickness of the hair strand. So thickness again twist which twists it I think this is for um, if you want to make curly hair you can see yes curly hair see that twist the hair strands so this is perfect because uh, I mean in beta you couldn't do that so it was more difficult to do the hair strand doesn't seem like it's working properly is it supposed to look like that kind of looks weird to me I don't know why oh here it's kind of hard to see with this uh, color and no shadow, I guess. Okay, and we have twist placement. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we have smooth this to make it smoother or pointier, I guess. That's interesting. And of course, this is the cross section. You can change. Oh, this looks better. Yeah. There, you can see the curls. And then brown triangle, and then flat. So you can change it however you want now. Interesting. Or I think they, they had it in beta, I don't remember. Okay, and uh, curve, we have fluffy and straight. And then these change the thickness. So imagine this as the strand of the hair. You see, this would be the bottom of the hair to make it thicker or thinner this is the middle of the hair you can make it thicker or thinner and you can do it with these two as well okay that covers uh, the hair pieces let's see if I can see it better I can't see the hair properly. it's because I made or actually it's more like cell shaded in this version, I don't know why. I like it better because it's easier to edit the textures in um, Clip Studio. Uh, how do I change the shading? I guess 
No, it's not showing up. Okay. Well, never mind that then. But I mean, like, if you edit the shading, it should show up. Show the shading. It's because I edited the shading that's like that, I think. I don't know. And then also, if you want to save as a preset, you can overwrite the preset that you already edited or save as a new item if you want a duplicate of the um, same thing just in case you want extra files in case you need to edit the old one. That's what I do usually with MMD. And then if you don't want to do anything, any saving, you can just close without saving and it won't save the preset if, you're, if, you, if you don't want to edit it, okay? And so this, this X button is to exit out of texture mode, editing mode, okay? So make sure that you've saved everything or you check everything you want before closing this. So that way, I mean, you don't lose your progress unless you close the file, the whole file itself. But if you forget to uh, save the text, uh, the preset or whatever, you would probably have to go back to it again. So we'll close without saving because I don't want to save anything. This is just demo. Okay, so now let's go to outfit first and remove the outfits. Because I want to see the body shapes. Here we go. Okay, so they have two of them in here. I don't know what this one is. What is this one? They look identical. Okay, they are identical. Okay, so um, the whole body. So what you can do is change the skin color right here. Use the eyedropper too, and then change it. And then this one's for the shadow, I think. Right? Yes, it's for the shadow. And this is the light color for the lightness and of course there's more parameters to adjust the body length uh height oh you can still make them tiny good i wonder if exaggeration still work on the body so let's say 50. oh i made it too big huh Two. Yes, it still works. So you can still uh, make the parameters more exaggerated if it doesn't go past the slider. So it's one, and I put two. And then apply color when editing. What does that mean? I'm guessing it just means that of course it says in the name that if you just apply color when you're editing so yeah I don't know what this is okay and then of course you edit texture for this one as well I hope you're reading that that might be important well it should be important Otherwise, they wouldn't show it. And then here's this thing I don't understand about this new update. Why is it gray? And then why is this here to do that? Color calibration. Let me see. Can I... Ah, okay, so if you read this, you'll see it says, for example, you can change a model's eye color without changing the preset eye pattern. So that will come in handy. So but I like to have it off and then color whatever. So, of course, these are the brush shapes that you can draw on the body. Brush width is to adjust the size of the, the thing. See? 
brush opacity is to make it vis um, see, um, transparent or not. It doesn't go completely transparent, I don't think. I'm not sure. And then we have UV mode and world mode. World mode, I think, is means you edit the whole set. So instead of just editing one section, which is body, you edit the whole thing. Let me see if that's the case. And then layer opacity is to make this see transparent or not. It doesn't make it like trans transparent. As you can see, it just goes completely invisible, which is stupid, honestly. And then we have drying mode. They have not dry modes. That's awesome. They have dark, or I think they had it in beta too. So darken, multiply, and calibre. So multiply. And and then here is layers. This is parts important in case you don't want to overwrite uh, the original texture. You press the plus button to make a new layer. And then this one was to import right away. However, you can also right click and import. You can also export if you want to edit the, the um, image. Export guide if you want the guides, which you see these grids. Those grids there help you um, figure out where everything is. Rename to rename the layer. Move up to move you know, the layer up. Move down to move the layer down. Delete it if you don't want it anymore. Duplicate it if you want to double. Toggle it off a lock if you only want to edit a certain area. You know like how in... Uh, ed art editing programs you want to lock it so it's only editing um, that area so I'll show you what I mean if I mean it's not really explainable you know. so for example if you had like uh, invisible part on the bottom I guess it doesn't go over it I'm not sure I don't know how to explain it but yes someone else will be able to explain it properly if needed See, you can draw over the, the same layer as you can see. It's basically the same option as how Clip Studio Paint does it. Basically, it doesn't go out of the line if you toggle lock. You draw something and then you click off a lock, and then you draw something on it again, and then it does this. See, it won't go out of the line. And. What else? Oh, and visibility, of course, to hide it and show the layer. You can also click this little icon as well if you want to show it. Let me show you. Okay. Or, hmm. There we go. So it shows up and it doesn't show up. <clears throat> And then this is the shading color, of course, and the skin color and all that. The same that I showed before. And this is selection. I don't know how this is selection when you can't really select anything. This is the brush to brush, of course. This is the eraser to erase whatever. And this is the blur tool if you want to blur an area. You can blur it. <clears throat> And then the shader color is down here. Base color and shade color. Okay. 
And then this is the mirror tool if you want to draw on two sides. I think I have the alpha lock on here. It looks like it's starting to glitch out, which is not good. Not a good sign. Oh, wait, I'm using the blur tool. <laughs> okay, 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 I got you. There you go. See? And uh, as you can see, these black areas is not where the texture is. If you see the texture, you're just painting right here. So even if you go out of the line a bit, it's okay. So you're not doing anything wrong. See? Okay. Let me turn that off. You can also hide and show the grid here if you don't like the grid showing. And let's exit from the texture. We close without saving. Because I don't need the preset. Okay, and now we go to the outfits, which I really like. And here, there are a ton of new outfits. I mean, they're all duplicates with different colors, but it's okay. But if you go here, you can. Uh, and this one has a small amount and they need to add more options in this one but they do have a lot of options now as you can see they have hoodies t-shirts long uh, shirt button-up shirts uniforms uh, floral pattern shirts I'm guessing this they just add these extras in case someone doesn't know how to paint or whatever I don't know I mean, they're not that hard to change. Change colors in art programs. You could just use a color editor, um, the color wheel with the Wii, and then you just change it. So, you know, you don't even have to draw on it. Uh, they seem to have a lot. Of different shapes though this one is like a crop top and then <clears throat> of course you can see a custom item and then it ends up in here I don't know why I have this here <clears throat> let me delete these real quick I don't need duplicates <clears throat> Jesus, what's wrong with my voice? See that? You can also layer. So yes, you can layer too. So if I want one top here and then another top, I could just add another top. How I do that, I don't know. I just realized that I don't know how to layer. <clears throat> so if I put a t-shirt, oh, maybe the, no, that's the bra section. I guess maybe the dresses? No, they're not layering. That's weird. I'm guessing that you save it as a custom and then it shows up. So we got this one. Oh wait, no, I already tried that and it's not working.
Well, I don't want to waste any time, so I'm just gonna say I don't know how the layering works yet. I think I did it before, but I forgot. <clears throat> so let's see, we have a lot of bottoms. We have a lot of bottoms now. And of course you can erase these too. You can just erase whatever you don't need. So you can edit it into the style you want. Of course this was also in the beta. But this is still here, thankfully, so... As you can see, voila. Okay, and of course the same is... Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? Oh no, we need to duplicate. Add a template. Maybe this is how you layer. No, it's just adding a template, I guess, for the outfits. Okay, so no, that's not it. Close without saving. <clears throat> hmm. That's weird. And also they have full sets here if you, you don't know what you want. And you can still edit them, I guess. I'm not sure. So they have bottoms, and then they have dresses here. <clears throat> this, All of these options are actually good because it gives you more possibilities to make uh, unique clothes to edit. And of course they have more bows <clears throat> and neckties. They do not have any arm accessories right now. Maybe you can make one. <clears throat> ah, I see. So it's just going on the wrist if you want to edit it. Okay. Instead of making a hair item, you just draw on the texture. The body texture. And then, of course, we got the under undergarments. And you can make a custom. <clears throat> and then socks now. Um, hold on a second. <coughs> <clears throat> I literally just woke up like an hour ago, so this happens a lot. <clears throat> so with the socks, um, I think it's kind of like editing the texture too. It's just, I mean the body texture, but it's on its own layer. And also, of course, you can just erase the top if you want to make it shorter, or you could just use the shorter socks here. They also have this kind, which is asymmetrical. And then they also have lined ones, in case you want to see where the area is. And of course, you can custom save it as custom item right here. And then they also have a bunch of shoes now. <clears throat> They have some sandals, uh, they're not easily editable to add like bows and stuff, so I'm still sticking with the loafers here so I can add some bows on the top. And that is it for the outfits, they have a lot of options now. And then they have accessories, um, which is glasses and ears. So they have cat ears. I haven't checked this out yet. <clears throat> they have a lot of options for this too, as you can see. Makes it a lot easier. This is not in the beta, so this is also new in this program, in this uh, stable version. And then also, what's good about this is it has a handle. 
So if you want to rotate it or move it, you can do that now. See? And resize. You can make it bigger if you want. So make it thicker, longer, and then wider. Do it right here. Doesn't seem you can make it like that with this one. That's okay. <clears throat> and of course you can change the color here. Or if you just want to edit the texture, you can edit the texture and add your own. <clears throat> and let's see how the glasses look. Nice and messy, and it looks like they have to have some thickness to it rather than being flat. So maybe you can do something with it. And yes, you can edit the texture here. So if you want to fix it into like a different design, maybe glitter glasses, lion glasses, zebra glasses, whatever you want, I think you can do as well. <clears throat> Here is the options here. You can make it thicker, thinner, longer, whatever you want. And it looks like they have a lot of options for this one. Okay, now that we've gone over all the selections of or options of all the items <clears throat> and how to. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I wanted to show. I totally forgot. So if we go here, <clears throat> so um, there's a new thing here where they have a skin mask. So let me show you. Let's go to the default image and I'll show you. So we select eraser. And so you know how you want to um, make it the uh, something shorter or you want to erase something. There's what's called a layer mask. A skin mask, excuse me. Okay. I just said it earlier. Where when you want to edit a, a top or whatever, it will hide the skin. So let me show you. Let me close without saving. Because for some reason it's not showing up here, but I'll show you in my other model. I do have enough RAM, so I don't know why it's slow. I mean, I guess that's just the program. Okay, so if I go to outfit, edit texture, Here, so it says skin mask, and if I want to erase the 
top or wherever. You'll see that some of the skin is not showing up, as you can see right here. You can only see the insides of the shirt. So if you want to fix that and then you don't want the skin to be invisible like that, you just go here to the skin layer and if you want to make a new layer so you don't ruin it. And then uh, click here. And then you just go to the black area and color it in. So, as you can see. I'm thinking this is the hand part. Because I remember seeing someone editing that area and it was the hand part. This area of the, the texture. This is the shoulder. And as you can see, it'll show the skin. I don't know if deleting would be a good idea, but you can delete it. But the thing is, if you do, I mean, the reason why they have this is so the skin doesn't clip through the shirt or the pants or whatever. Because I had that issue in the beta version. So this is handy if you want to hide that part. I mean, even in the beta version, you can still just erase the skin of the body and it would do the same thing. But I mean, this is a little bit more handy, I guess, or just extra. I don't know. But yeah, that makes it easier for that. Okay, so now that I have done that, let's close without saving. Okay, and then go to look now. Okay, so you want to get rid of outlines or whatever. Let's see if that gets rid of it. Yes. So if you want to make the outline thicker or thinner, you just do this. Okay. And then this is the rim light. I turned the rim light off. So let's turn it back on. This is the light of edge light, rim light. Here. I turned it off. And then this is also for the hair. The face line, okay. Face line and then body line. I have that off. And then shading, I was trying to do cell shading for this one. So I, I put the shade harness all the way up, as you can see. But you can also make it softer if you want. So for example, softer, see? The shading area is the direction, I think, right? Or I think it's turning it off, right? I'm not sure about the shading area. But I have it like, oh, right, it does this. It's, yeah, it's the direction of the light. So, it's all the way on, and then it's like, oh, and all that. Okay, so that, this is just for the shading. And then the eye alignment, uh, let me see. I don't know why, but sometimes the model's eyes follow me. I wasn't doing it on some models, which is weird. Um, you can change the eye alignment. Okay, okay, I got it. And then the bones is for, like, the physics. Or, for the physics. Uh. Oh, right, I didn't talk about the... Okay, let me see. You need to add bones in your hair before you finish your model. So, for example,
we go to edit hairstyle or come on let me i forgot how to do it hold on Oh, here. I think they just renamed it weird. Yeah, here. So this is supposed to be the bone group. I don't know why they named it like they did. But you put an amount of bones. Um, you can also auto-generate if you feel like it. And I'll put it there. Um, let's see if you can edit it. Okay. Yes, you can edit it. So you can auto-generate and then select how many bones you want in the strand hair. So I think, if, when I remember correctly, is if you have more bones, the more free flowing it is, but I think it interferes with the other strands. So I think that was with MMD though, I don't know if it was this one. And then if you have it lower, I think it's less movable. And then stiffness is of course the bounciness. So if you want it bounce, super bouncy or stiff, and then fixed point is to adjust the point of the bones. So if you want the bottom part just to move mostly, then you do that. And then the gravity, of course, is to make it flowy, like you're in water or something. And then the hit radius, uh, it's like uh, MMD where you adjust the physics to make it bigger or smaller. And then the collision would be wonky if you make it too big though. So I don't know if it's for this one. And then you can also remove hair from bone group and then remove it. And you can just add it again if you need to. And, um, you can select the hairs that are ungrouped, create bone group, and select whatever, okay? So, and that's for that. Okay, so it should be saved. Okay, so we go back to look. What is amplitude? <clears throat> oh, prevent excessive shaking during movement. Interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> now let's go to the top three here, the last part. So for here, you can go to settings and adjust whatever you need here. This doesn't really make the background, the UI, uh, black. It just makes, um, right here, black. 3D view quality, normal, high. I think you want to keep it at normal because I think maybe if you put it high, it's going to make the um, processor go faster, you know, higher, you know, the percentage. So I probably wouldn't do that. If I were you, if you have a lower end PC, and then you can select uh, select the language if you prefer that. And this is for beginners. I'm guessing this is tutorials for beginners. And differences from the beta. It shows you the differences from this stable version from the beta version. And then the fact where you can see everything answered not everything but whatever is answered is there keyboard shortcuts if you want to make shortcuts or apparently you cannot make your own shortcuts you have to follow a set amount of shortcuts so these are the shortcuts here of course I do CTRL-S to save so it's the same thing as with a lot of software so it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out if you've done other software before and then here you can actually download the beta version if you prefer the beta version. And then the Vroid Hub, of course, is where you upload your models to share with everyone in the world if you prefer. And then here is to, I think, download, right? Yes, export as VRM and then upload to Vroid Hub and export for 3D pr uh, printing, which it seems to still be in progress, so it's not available yet. And then here is where you go to the poses section and everything to test out the model before you export. So this is important before you export anything to make sure everything is running smoothly. 
So for the facial expression, they do have a lot. I mean, this is a lot better than the beta version, in my opinion, because it's not so wonky. Because in the beta version, it was like very wonky. The expressions in the mouth was opening really wide and weird. So I didn't like that. So let me see if it's still the same with this one. So we have neutral, smiling. So you gotta fix that. Uh, of course, this is still in progress. I was just testing where the line area was, so don't worry about that. And then we have sad. What is up with the mouth? Oh, I think they changed the mouth. Okay, okay. And then we have angry. We have happy. Yeah, see, I don't like how the mouth moves like that. See what I mean? Look how weird that looks. It's it's the the shape, the way it's shaped is kind of weird. Mm, it's fine though, I think. Okay, and how do you turn it off? Turn it off. <clears throat> and then we have surprised. This one's fine. And then you have the eyebrows. You can look check the eyes. So make sure you check everything before you export it, okay? You don't want it to look wonky. And then we also have ooh, shark teeth. I want to see what they look like real quick. Ooh, the bottom teeth look cool. Okay. It's not bad. It's not too bad. I'm not sure what the clipping issue was that people were talking about. Or I think they kind of see it. No. no, not here. But I think there is a clipping issue, probably. I mean, you are editing sliders, and it's bound to happen. Okay, so now let's reset the- I, That would be awesome if they had a reset button. If they had a reset button, so. There's no reset button here. Let me just put it back down. Okay. So in pose and animations is to test the poses. Check how it looks like with poses. So here. We have standby one, standby two. And as you can see, because the skin is invisible underneath, it's not going through. And also in the beta version, the clipping issue was really severe. Like, it was going through, like, pretty bad. Which I didn't like. It was going through... It wouldn't... It wouldn't, um... Um, it wasn't rigged properly, I think is the word. But it, it was just not stretching with the body properly. But here, it looks like it's doing better. And then we have jumping. Yes, it's a lot better here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look wonky anymore. See, this is what I mean. The skirt moves with the legs. I mean, it was doing the better version too, but I mean, it was just... The, what the model I did wasn't working properly. I don't know why. And then you can also import a background picture to see how it looks like. Which is nice. I like that. And then the lighting, uh, how do you, oh, okay, so it, it's the position of the lighting here, too. That's good. And you can put the intensity, intensity and horizontal angle, so you put it up to the right. Oh, here, they have a, resp a reset button here, but they don't have it right here for some reason. And then we have wind, of course, you can blow wind to them. That's nice, I like it. Blowing the hair. And then post processing. Motion blur. You got a comics. Ooh, I like that. Color grading. Adjust the colors. See? <clears throat> and they also have anti aliasing. Yay! They have low and high. Pick size. Pick 
size. What do they mean by that? Oh, okay. So it's an adjustment of the the ratio. Okay. And you can also make a preset of it. Nice. So let's try this one. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Me likey. And I think this is to take a picture of that section. That makes it ooh, that makes it nice. I don't think they had this option in beta. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. I went through everything I could that they have. Um I mean you can also make your own accessories out of hair still. Uh but of course you still need to export it to another soft uh program to not have it rigged to the head because if you move it with any other part it just moves with the head so i honestly have not used a v-roid that much i mean i i can figure out everything because i'm familiar with any modeling but the thing is i am not familiar with v-roid modeling yeah, I only made one model, and this is my second one I'm working on right now. And I am still learning, but I can figure out, like, what the issues are and stuff like that. But, I, I mean, I explained uh, some stuff, I guess, okay? I might have got something wrong. But I hope this helped you guys and to under better understand the software. It's easy to use, especially for people who don't know how to draw or model. And what I like about this is it's very customizable and it's more faster for me than modeling from scratch because oh boy does it take long for me to actually make a model because modeling for beginners it, it it does take a long time especially if you're not familiar with it so if I mean if you want to get into this I think you should it would be fun to learn and then maybe in the future you can learn to 3D model from scratch. So I think this is a good introduction for 3D modeling. I mean it I mean it, it is kind of lazy. Not lazy, but it's it's easy in some aspects. But you still learn from it, I think, which is cool. So again, like I, I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I don't mind. Uh, I might be able to answer some stuff. Um and I'm going to try to figure out uh, an export function with PMX real quick. I know how to export to PMX, but I'm trying to think of... I'm thinking of something that I want to explain if I can figure it out. So if I make that video, I'll make it uh, and figure it out, I'll post it. So anyways, thank you for watching. And if you feel like uh, watch, uh, subscribing or liking, feel, uh, feel free to do so. You don't have to, but it supports the channel. And I will see you guys later. Bye.